The objective is to transition from four partial products to the standard algorithm for two-digit by two-digit multiplication. Here we have 36 times 54. Let's go ahead and draw it out the area model with four partial products so that we can see what that looks like. Here's 30, here's 6, and then we have 4, and then we also have 50. Let's start by taking a look at this here. That's 4 times 3 tens, which equals 12 tens. Next we have 4 times 6 ones, which equals 24 ones. Here we're looking at 5 tens times 3 tens, which equals 15 hundreds. Remember, we multiply tens times tens, we do get hundreds. And we have 5 tens times 6, which equals 30 tens. Let's go ahead and write that out vertically. 36 times 54. And then we'll look at those partial products. We have 36 times 54, where we had 4 times 6 to give us those 24 ones. Next, we had 4 times those 3 tens to give us 12 tens, which is equal to 120. And then so we were going from right to left and from top to bottom. So next we have this one right here. And so as you can see here, this is 5 tens times that 6, which gave us those 30 tens, which is also equal to 300. And then finally, we had 1,500 with those 15 hundreds, which was 50 times 30. So again, it goes 4 times 6, 4 times the 3 tenths, and then it continues from there. Now, as you are working with standard algorithm, we're actually looking at 4 times 6 as well as 4 times 3 all at the same time. So that's why we add those two partial products together of 120 and 24 to get 144. So 144 is actually 36 times 4. Next we're looking at 36 times the 5 which is worth 50. So you have to see that, that's 36 times that 5, which is worth 50. And that's why we add those two partial products together to get 1,800. And in adding those together, we get 1,944 as our product. OK, we have 73 times 28. Let's break apart 28, that's that second factor, into 8 and 20. This time, we're going to go ahead and keep 73 right there. So the area for this right here would be 8 times 73. And when we solve for that, we get 574. The area here would be 20 times 73. And when we solve for that, that'd be 73 times 2 tens. So that would be, let's see, 146 tens, which also equals 1,460. So, so my next step would just be to add those two partial products to be able to get my answer, which is 2,034. 73 times 28 equals 2,034. So in this case, I've just used two partial products
to be able to find my answer for 73 times 28. Okay, here is another problem for you, and it's your turn to try. We have 45 times 36. Go ahead and figure out these two partial products, and don't forget to add them together to find your answer. Pause the video while you do your work. Did you get 270 for your first partial product? For the other partial product, I would have 45 times 3 tenths. 5, regroup the 1, 13, 135 tens, or the number 1,350. Again, that was 30 times 45. How this connects back to the standard algorithm is like this. We're taking 45, multiplying it by 36, where we first look at 6 times 45. So what we do is we go 6 times 5, which is 30. We go 0, regroup the 3. 6 times 4, which is 24, plus 3, which is 27. And then so there is that number, 270. Next, we place a 0, and we work with that, because we're working with 3 tens there, and we go 3 times 5, which is 15, which is 5, regroup the 1. 3 times the 4, which is 12, plus 1, which is 13. And that there is the 1,350, or 45 times 30. And, of course, we would add them together to get that same answer. So when we add 1,350 to 270, we get 1,620 as our answer. So that's how the two partial products connect to that standard algorithm. Let me show you one more example. So we'll go ahead and record 43 first. And we'll break apart 82 into 2 and the 8 tens. So we first multiply 2 times 43, where we get 86. So showing that standard algorithm, here we have 43 times 82. We would have 2 times the 3, which does give us 6, and 2 times the 4, which does gives us 8. Next, I have 80 times 43. So that's 8 tens times 43, just as this would be 8 tens times this 43. So I place the 0 because I'm working with 8 tens. Then I go step by step, 8 times 3 first, and then 8 times 4. 8 times 3 is 24, 4, regroup a 2. 8 times 4 is 32, plus 2 is 34. And then I would carefully add those together. Let me put the partial product inside of my figure. Again, here's that partial product for 2 times 43 first, and then 80 times 43. Adding them together, I get the answer. Read the whole equation with me. 43 times 82 equals 3,526. So again, what I did is I went 2 times 43 first, and then I added that together with 80 times 43. And in working those out, we saw those partial products that were right there to be able to get our answer. It is the distributive property there, where we were broken apart 2 plus 80, and we were looking at 2 plus 80 times 43. So that was 43 times 2, and also 80 times 43.